bombastic news. Trade with Buffalo Bills. For this negotiation you couldn't wait. The Raiders can add another linerbacker. 29-year-old Bills player who's an old Raiders dream could be on his way to Vegas. It's an excellent deal for Raiders and Bills. If you want to receive daily information about Raiders, subscribe to our channel. As the Las Vegas Raiders approach training camp, there are still some roster changes we could see made. One of those could come through the Buffalo Bills, who are considering potentially cutting ties with former All-Pro linebacker Matt Milano. Bleacher Report's Alex K. had this to say when speculating about Milano's possible release. The 29-year-old is just one season removed from his career-best season in 2022, in which he has racked up 99 tackles, including 12 for loss, 11 pass defenses, 3 interceptions, including 1 return for a score, 2 fumble recoveries and 1.5 sacks, while earning All-Pro honors, but he went down the final 12 games of last season with a fractured leg, marking the second time in the past four seasons that he missed a large portion of the action. The injury may or may not hinder Milano's ability to play at a high level, and if confirmed it could mean the end of his time in western New York. K also delved into the finances. Releasing Milano would save the Bills $10 million in 2024. If the Bills do part ways with Milano, the Raiders should go all-in after him as a free agent. Milano's 2022 season should be more than enough proof, but he has been a consistently great linebacker for years. The team has Divine Deblow as its current starter, but he is not irreplaceable. Deblow allowed an opposing passer rating of 106.3 last year. In contrast, in Milano's healthy 2022 season, he has allowed an opposing passer rating of just 70.6 while managing five pass defenses and three interceptions. Deblow's coverage grade was a modest 60.2 last season. Meanwhile, Milano has a stellar 82.2 grade during the 2022 campaign courtesy of Pro Football Focus. The difference between the two is what could launch the Raiders into the top 10 in pass defense. And last year, they finished 12th, believe it or not. This team is not far from being a top-tier pass defense. Milano also has three seasons with double digits in tackles for loss, proving he has a well-rounded skill set that can be used to rush the passer and help in run support as well. Would Buffalo really consider waiving him? They have a couple of recent third-round picks in their linebacker room in Dorian Williams and Terrell Bernard, so as crazy as it sounds, Buffalo might have enough reason to make this move.